Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So we're going to discuss about QUBT stock and uh, after a big fall, you can clearly see a very sharp spike in the very near term trend or if you are looking at the very current trend right now. Now the question is, is it enough? That's the big question what we have here because with this sharp spike, the very near term trend has at least changed for now. But the question is about is it enough because it will all depend upon the price movement and obviously sustainability of QU BT stock. So when we are looking at the current trend, this is what we have here. So with the kind of move we have right now is very fast and it has actually pushed the stock towards the upper end of the range or the resistance level. So with this current move, we now have 0.56, which is our support and stop loss. So before going any further, it is mandatory for the stock to keep on trading and sustaining above that. And right now we have our target or resistance at 0.67. So this narrow range is the only active section which we have right now. Because 0.67 is your resistance zone, it may work as a resistance unless it surpasses this particular level so if you are thinking anything beyond 0.67 then let the stock surpass that level and obviously in that case we have a 0 0.90 which is going to be our next big target and it may expand or extend up to 1.33 so these are the next two things which we're gonna look at moving forward right now this is just a counter trend which is happening you can clearly see a downside which is going on but if you are thinking anything big then let the stock surpass beyond this particular red line because this is where the big resistance line and only if the stock surpasses 0.67 or more in that case this section will become active okay then you can think about that most importantly these kind of moves are not sustainable because it is the near term and whenever you are talking about or when you are trying to squeeze the time volatility will increase significantly so that's something which we also which we must understand over here so right now don't go below 0 0.56 otherwise the downside may resume again and only if the stock surpasses 0 0.67 then you can see further upside so this is the end of the video thanks for watching